today I'm going to teach you how to make a tiny German hat. It goes on your head like this. It's equivalent to the English fascinator. So join me on my journey of how to make a tiny German hat. Making a tiny hat does not require much fabric at all. As you can see, I've got a pattern piece for the small pieces and I cut two out of wool and one out of a contrasting fabric. This just happens to be yellow linen for the demonstration. This little circle is five and seven eighths inches big. For the base of your tiny hat, cut two pieces. This is an eight inch circle and I've cut two pieces of wool. I'm going to construct the base of the hat first. This is the hat as a reminder and this is the base. This is what we're going to be constructing first. To construct the base of the hat, you're just going to pin your two circles together as I have done here and you're going to sew all the way around the circle. See, I've sewn all the way around the circle. I'm using contrasting thread so that you can see what I've done. So you're thinking, how do I turn this? Well, it's very, very simple. Since a tiny hat is non-functional, we don't have to care what the underside looks like. So you've got your two circles. You're going to grab one circle, and you're going to cut a hole in it in the middle. So now you can turn this right side out. And you have a perfect circle that you did not have to sew shut on any part. So once you have this turned, you're going to press it nice and flat so that it looks like this. This is the base of your tiny hat. The top of your tiny hat is the fancy thing that everybody wants to decorate. You can decorate this several different ways. I'm going to show you how to cut it like a snowflake. In this example, I have cut out hearts, and this is the contrasting fabric. And I've embroidered some birds on here, but you can decorate this any way you want. So I think everybody probably remembers how to make a snowflake, but I'm just going to demonstrate. So here's a piece of wool, and I'm going to cut a pattern in it. I'm going to make some heart shapes. And I'm going to make some more heart shapes. But you can make diamonds, you can make circles, you can make whatever you want. So this is the top of the hat. The reason we cut a contrasting circle is because we want a color to show through the hat when we're done with it. So now you make a sandwich of these three pieces. You have your contrasting color, you have your fancy cutout piece here, and then you're going to put the back side on. You're going to do the same thing to this that you did to the bottom. You're going to pin it all the way around, and then you're going to sew it all the way around. And that's what I have here in this demonstration piece. I have sewn it all the way around. And I'm going to do the same thing here that I did with the bottom of the tiny hat. You're going to have to make sure that you only cut one piece of the wool, that you don't go all the way through all three pieces. So 
So be very careful. You can feel it with your fingers where that second piece is. And we're going to snip a little hole in this. Make sure that we're not going to cut any part of the fancy stuff. There, we've made a hole. It's not pretty, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to show. Now we're going to turn this and then you have, well, this pattern isn't great, but you see what I mean. So now you've got the top of your hat and you're going to press it flat and there you go. So now you would take the bottom of your hat and the top of your hat, put the sides with the holes in them together, and then you're going to pin this down, and then on the back side, you're going to attach the top half to the bottom half. As you can see that I've done it here on this hat. I took some big stitches. This is a this is a non-structural sort of hat. It's just a fascinator. It's just going to be sitting on the top of your head, so you don't have to sew it as if it were a couture garment. And you can't see the stitches on the top side of this hat, but you can see them if you pulled that apart. So that is how you make the body of your tiny hat. Now the feathers, that's another topic entirely. These feathers are glued together into a clump on a piece of fabric. And then that was sandwiched in between the pieces of the hat before I sewed the hat down. That's how these are staying in place. Now, that's a fine option. The problem is I have these wonderful feathers that I can't use on any other hat now because they're permanently attached to this hat. So what you can do to get around that is to buy yourself one of these things, a lapel pin vase. And I got this off of Amazon. You can buy these. You take them out of the package. They look like this. It is a vase with a pin on it. And what you would do to make a nice set of plumes that you can use over and over on different hats is you would take this pin vase, you would take some glue, and you would take some feathers, pin, uh, glue one feather at a time into your pin vase. You would probably want to cut this stem down. And then you have a very pretty plume that you can use on different hats. I'm not going to glue these in because I, I don't want to use these uh, feathers for this hat right now, but you can see what I mean. So that is how you make a tiny hat. That is how you accessorize it with feathers. And I think, I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed the video today. See you next time. I hoped these instructions were helpful for you, and I look forward to seeing people post the hats that they've made using these instructions. See you next time.